going to read this morning from the authority of the believer and how to use it from Dr. Billy Brim. And I'll start on page 35. And um, she mentions that each day, each morning, she uh, says this this kind of this kind of prayer and prays um, uh, over everything that pertains to her life and the world around her. So I wanted to share that with you. It's it's a blessing. God of our, uh, she's starting here in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 and goes to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, please give unto me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened that I may know what is the hope of his calling, the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints and the exceeding greatness of your dunamis, that is power, to usward who believe according to your mighty power, which you wrought in the Messiah, the anointed one, when you raised him from the dead and set him at your right hand in the heavenlies, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age and world, but also in that which is to come and have you have put all things under his feet actually I like it better uh, the way it's actually written here you have put all you have put all under his feet and gave him to be the head over all to the ecclesia the church which is his body, the fullness of him that fills all in all. And me have you quickened when I was dead, slain in my trespasses and sins. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved me, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace we are saved and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus, which when he quickened him, he quickened me. When he raised him, he raised me. When he seated him, he seated me in him. Therefore, in him, I am seated far above all principality, power, might, and dominion, and every name that is named. And in the name of Jesus, I will now rule and reign over the powers of darkness because the Lord told me to in Romans 5, 17. For I have received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness. Therefore, I now reign as a king in my life by one Jesus Christ. Kingdom of darkness, listen to me. I hold the blood of Jesus over all things pertaining to me, and I forbid your having anything to do with anything that pertains to me, my family, my resources, 
my health, my home, my friends, my church, my neighborhood, my town, my nation. I added all of that at the end because Dr. Brim starts there. She says, I hold the blood of Jesus over all things pertaining to me, and I forbid your having anything to do with, and then she explains that she expounds on what things she is taking authority over. Kingdom of darkness, listen to me. I hold the blood of Jesus over all things pertaining to me, and I forbid your having anything to do with dot, 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 and you fill in the blanks. So, uh, I like praying for my little neighborhood right around me, taking authority over the spirits that would keep them in bondage and darkness and despair and, and lostness. And I take authority in my Prince William County, which, um, which needs, which needs to turn back to God and over my nation, which also needs to turn back to God. And I know that my prayers avail much. If Elijah could pray and it didn't rain for three and a half years, how much more will God do if Ellen Messing prays now that she is the righteousness of God Almighty in Christ Jesus and she is seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus and has been given all delegated authority over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means will hurt her. Praise God forever. <laughs>